This is something that I've gone over in some detail before, and this is a condition I call bloating. It's uh, a condition that uh, happens more frequently, unfortunately, than not with cyclora. And if you take a look at this guy's stomach here, you can see that he is a, he's got a little bit of gas in here. He's a little bulged out. His stomach, this particular animal, has um, uh, a situation where he actually has a partial blockage in his GI system. So not uncommon for him to get this. But I've had a lot of other cyclora that have had the bloating condition and obviously do not have any kind of uh, uh, partially blocked GI system. And it's a condition that they get because the food that they eat ferments and builds up gas and they're unable to, to get rid of that gas. And uh, what happens in cyclor is that expansion pushes against the lungs and prevents them from breathing. And uh, it's a common reason that they die and a lot of people have had animals die from it, don't even realize that's what they've died from. So uh, I was try trying to get the word out uh, on what's going on with the cyclora bloating. I've dealt a lot with it over the years. Um, I guess fortunately or unfortunately, I do not have a great subject here to show you because he is not fully bloated, thank God. But I'm just trying to give you the idea of what, what to look for. Normally in, a, in an animal that's fully bloated, we do not have this, this little bit of extra skin here. That actually gets so tight, see if I can kind of simulate it like this, that actually gets so tight like this that you can be, begin to actually see the folds of the intestine. Actually, I can feel it right here in him now where the loops of intestines are expanding because of the gas and he actually will get it up here further where it's pushing on the lungs. So if you take a kind of a look right here real quick, uh, I have a couple of rhinos over there and you can see but that skin folding on their sides of their body there and you notice that it's, it's nowhere near that here. This is um, Cuban iguana and if you kind of get a look from the top here, you can see he's partially bloated. I've had a condition where he's actually been so bloated, he's actually passed out, basically died in my arms, and had to do an emergency operation on him, well, procedure on him, where I stick a needle in here and I actually will let the gas out of that intestinal loop. Don't recommend it. It's very dangerous. It's just in this particular case, there was no time to, to, um, uh, to administer other therapies to try to correct the problem. So I, I did an emergency procedure, which I've done before in the past with a lot of success, but I'm not recommending it uh, to people who certainly don't have experience doing it. One of the things that you can do is you can actually, I don't know if you can hear that, but you can actually palpitate where I would stick that needle because it sounds hollow there because of that loop of intestine is pushing against that side. Typically what I do here is you can put the animal in a tub of warm water. You're trying to get some motion. I take him, I, I wiggle him back and forth in that tub of water and everything. And something else that you can do here is you can actually just massage his, his stomach. It's hard, hard for me to do this with one hand, but I've sat here and I've done it for 10, 15 minutes. And, uh, you know, I've had passed a lot of gas. I've had very good results with just... Um, just manipulating his, his GI system. I don't recommend sticking a, a tube up the vent. That really gets pinched off and it's not too hard to actually puncture that, uh, that GI system. So I just don't think I can do it here with one hand, but I may actually have to put the phone down here and, and, and try to do this because I don't really want to leave him bloated. This condition happens when they eat foods that have a lot of sugar and ferment and especially if it's getting colder and the animal eats too much gets cold and that food stalls in the GI system promotes that gas and then that's when they have a big problem once the gas really builds up to a situation it'll just pinch off the GI system will pinch off the folds of the GI system and they'll de die because they can't breathe so again what we have to try to do here is to manipulate. I'm going to show you a picture of what this animal looks like after this procedure. You're not going to believe the amazing difference. Here he's only partially bloated. Let's see if I can, if I can just, if I have two hands here, I 
He's got You can feel how full his stomach really is. You, I can feel that gas in his stomach. It's uh, it's alarming. Set this camera up to just. Yeah, I don't know what you can see there, but at least it gives me a chance to have two hands try to get him. I've sat out here time 15 minutes and I've had to work on them sometimes. start to feel the things moving around. There's pressures in different spots now. A lot of gas in here. You weren't thinking about biting you, were you? You're definitely not. back with a glove. You know what's going to happen then. I'm going to come back with a glove. Yes, sir, Bob. Come on.
Okay, so know what happens now. Well. Okay, I hope you heard that. Did you see hear that? Yeah, yeah, that's what we're looking for. That was just some of the gas. I know from experience, there's actually a lot more gas to come. And other people may think this is funny, but when you have an animal like this, and you don't want them to die, it's not so funny anymore. Yeah, I've got them started now, so just by reducing the amount of that, that gas, he's able now to pass more gas because the, you don't have those loops of intestine being pushed against each other creating a fold so yeah come on this one here. get all excited i know so let's show the folks now i'm going to show the folks the difference here yeah all right one more one more, then I'll let you go. Yeah, you feel better, you want to pack the guy next to you. There. More gas. Yeah. Okay. I want to get people now to take a look. See if you can see the difference. Look at the difference. Look at this. Look at this. How his body, look at this. You can see this ridge. This is the, the ribs, where the ribs end here. You can see this ridge again. Here he's, he's still passing more gas, but look, look on the side here. Look how different this looks now. You see this is all this skin now is really, is really loose. And this isn't over yet. It's it's ever so slightly still there, but here you get a much better idea how to deal with this cyclora bloating issue, which is very serious. A lot of animals have been lost because of it. Look at that. Look at that body cavity, how it really sinks in there now in, that, in the abdomen. And this is much softer. I don't have all of that don't have all of that pressure in there anymore. This is um, critical for people who own Cyclora, don't realize their animal is actually bloating. Uh, maybe he's eating something, you just think he's fat, but um, you might have a much more serious condition. You wake up in the morning, the animal is dead, you don't know why. There's a lot of times bloating plays an important role in cyclor iguanas. Alright everybody, take care.